If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to show you guys all the round two superstar MVP players for the next drop that will be coming on Friday. So if you guys don't already know, superstar MVP has released already the first part, which contained the Michael Thomas, the Russell Wilson, the Von Miller, and the Martin Humphrey, and of course, the lower heroes as well, like the Nick Bosa, and so on and so on. Now, interestingly enough, if you go into superstar, if you go into superstar MVPs, right, you kind you know the players that will be coming out, but you didn't know their stats. But it happens, it just so happens if you go into Mutt Draft, the new superstar MVP players for the next drop is already in game and can be used, which is weird they did that. I guess they didn't want to drop them in separate releases, but for the most part, you will be able to see all of the new superstar MVP players from Mutt Draft if you sit through it long enough. So last time me and Zerk went through this and we screenshotted and got all the new um stats for you guys, so I can show you guys all the new cards and you can get an idea because because think about it right let's say you want ed reed we know buddha baker's coming out so maybe you're like should i wait for buddha baker now you can see it right now do you want him is it worth waiting a week for him maybe not maybe it is but that you can tell now which is super interesting to see before we get into the video guys hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell of course if you need coins head on down below to muttreserve.com and always use code poodle for 15 percent off your order and guys for today's poodle squad shout out we got rhyme time Rhyme time shout out to you man for being a part of the poodle squad thank you for showing support each and every day you want to be shouted out all you gotta do is like and comment poodle squad but let's get into it. So first, guys, you see Buda Baker on the screen. 5'10", 89 overall strong safety. Powered up will be a 90 overall. Should be pretty good. He gets 88 speed, 87 excel, 84 tackle, 88 play rec, 90 pursuit, 82 man, 86 zone, and 90, 84 hit power. Very super well-rounded. Pretty tiny. Pretty fast, though. Of course, Ed Reed's going to be faster with better zone, similar hit power. I think Ed Reed's going to be the better option. So if you were planning on holding out for the Buda Baker, Ed Reed would be better. Buda Baker should get more upgrades, I'd imagine, throughout the year. Ed Reed may not get another one for quite a while. But Buda Baker's good. I mean, he's going to get 90 overall powered up, and he will come at an 89 with abilities already. And he gets the plus one speed for the Superstar MVP um, strategy item. So, you will have an 89 speed. He can potentially get up to a 90 zone or close to it. I'm not sure, depending on the strategy card you have currently. But he's really good. Next, guys, we have Jabril Peppers. It's going to be a budget beast. 83 overall Jabril Peppers. 86 speed with 88 excel. He's going to be pretty good. At, he's going to be pretty good in a budget team with 81 hit power. Put him at line. He's a really good linebacker. S build 5 foot 11. He'll be pretty good there. I mean, probably a good user linebacker. Not going to be the greatest card, of course. He's not fast enough to be like the Trevon Moore, I guess, build. But he's only 83 overall. So for that price, and you can probably get him out of the packs for free from your weekly solo. He's going to be pretty cheap. Next, we have Frank Clark. Frank Clark going to be an 83 overall for the Chiefs. If you look at him, um, of course, actually, I don't even know if he's on the, no, he's on the Chiefs. 83 power move, bad block shed, 78 speed, 85 excel. Gonna be a well, borderline well rounded can, can, you know, can, has a decent athleticism, can rush the passer, and I can't run stuff too well. Got some good strength, play rec, decent card. Uh, the only thing good about him is that he will come with abilities, so, or potentially an X factor, so, that's probably the only good thing that may come out of having him. Darrell Williams, right tackle for the Buffalo Billies. He's got 81 strength. 81 awareness, 82 pass block, 83 pass block power, 78 pass block uh, finesse, 83 run block, 83 run block power, and 81 run block finesse. Overall, this card is super well rounded. Can pass block and run block. Everything's gonna be pretty much low, low 80s, low mid 80s. He's pretty good. Uh, he's gonna be a decent right tackle. Of course, again, the only good thing that comes out of him probably again will be that you can get him pretty. You can probably get him for free from the packs or for really cheap off the block, and he will come with ability. So he can be on. A, he can be usable on most teams that aren't god squads next here we have eddie jackson and emmanuel agba now i believe these are i know eddie jackson i think is new emmanuel agba i'm not sure but eddie jackson has 85 speed 86 excel he's got 77 tackle 84 play rec 85 pursuit yeah 79 man coverage 86 zone and 79 hit power as per usual eddie jackson cards are always pretty decent um they're never too fast but they're usually pretty good at zone pretty well rounded will he be a usable card probably not if i had to guess and that's pretty much just because of the fact that his speed's not high enough with compared to how what other cards and other people do get right now i mean it's pretty close to tyron matthew so if you're playing with tyron you might you may be able to start both of them that's your build but i mean six feet tall he's well rounded uh of course with the with the strategy card of 86 speed so he'll be he'll be usable but i don't think he'll make his way into a lot of teams and be a must-have player and then emmanuel agba in case he isn't out 78 speed 83 excel 83 power move 76 block shed 82 play rec and 82 tackle gonna be a decently decent card very similar to the um the other end we just saw before uh frank clark gonna be able to power move 
decent athleticism and not really the best run stuff next on the list guys we have tyron smith who's actually one of the um the champions 89 strength which is really good he's gonna get 90 strength powered up or if you don't power him up then he's gonna 89 88 awareness which is good for linemen 88 pass block really good 87 pass block powered 87 pass block for now it's gonna be a super super solid pass blocker which you need out of that left tackle spot and he'll come pre-built them with abilities so he's gonna be pretty good I think it's 88 run block as well. 84 run block power and 88 run block fast. It's going to be a really, really good zone uh, blocking lineman, which is great because a lot of left tackles in this point in the game, you'll get them with great pass block and no run block or vice versa. They usually aren't too well-rounded. He's going to be a top tier high 80 pretty much at everything on the board. And then, of course, if you don't like his abilities, you can just power him up and get everything even higher, have some strategy cards. He's going to be a really good card nonetheless. Next, we have Elton Jenkins and we have David Andrews. So that's going to be another a lot of linemen here. 86 overalls both so david andrews 83 strength 85 awareness 84 pass block 85 pass block power 84 pass block finesse 86 run block 86 run block power and 84 run block finesse overall this card is going to be a super well-rounded gonna be a run of the mill david andrews card i mean put him in there at center he's gonna be a mid high pretty much mid 80 everything borderline 86 is 86 is 84 is 85 he's gonna be super well-rounded across the board great center he could probably start for a lot of teams right now considering the landscape of center so if you go ahead and you build up your free hero using up the solos, you can easily just take him and have a center for a little bit. And then Elkton Jenkins, 83 strength, 85 awareness, 86 pass block, 84 pass block power, 86 pass block finesse, 86 run block, 83 run block power, and 86 run block finesse. Very similar to David Andrews. I see he has more 86s, or at least it looks like it, right? He has one, two, three. No, he's four 86s versus David Andrews, two. But then he has some 83s, which David Andrews only has one of those. So they're, they're very similar cards. They're going to be very, very similar in terms of average, median, in between of how like how much they average out. Every stat probably averages to about an 84.5, give or take an 85. These, these are really good cards. I mean, they could start for most people on the line. Then we have Dante Jackson, which is going to be a super good one. He's going to be similar to Fabian Moreau if you can get him. And again, you could probably get him for free out of those packs that you're going to get from the solos if you get lucky. And he probably won't go for too much, but he's going to be a budget beast. Him, Fabian Moreau, and your Deion Sanders, and you pretty much have like three 88 speed plus corners, 90 with him and 90 with Fabian Moreau. And he's actually getting a 91 speed, because remember, he is going to go ahead and get the plus one strategy item speed. But he's really good. 5 foot 10, 90 speed, 89 excel, 89 agility, 90 jumping. Remember, all these cards can get the plus one speed, so add another speed to all of them pretty much, even if they're not powered up. Then we have Vita Vey. Vita Vey is going to be one of the new champions. Of course, 65 speed, 78 excel, going to be super slow. He always is, kind of the way he's built. Um... <laughs> big i don't know 90 strength 88 tackle 85 play rec 87 block shed and 87 power move gonna be a really good run stuffing power move guy which is what he should be you know he's like he's gotta be pushing 300 pounds or at least high 200s probably 300 though he's a big guy but he has crazy good strength because you're gonna need this year strength's important power move and blocks you're gonna be a key he's gonna be a great nose tackle great center of the line kind of guy to just stop the run and clog up runs so that's really good to have him and then finally, guys, we have Saquon Barkley, 89 overall. Going to be the best card probably in Madden in the NFL. He's just, he's just amazing. That's how he's built. Saquon Barkley will get the plus one speed. Now, you could power him up, but I think the point of that strategy card item was to make it so you can get everyone pretty much powered up speed-wise without having to actually go ahead and power them up and lose their abilities. I think that was kind of the way they went about doing that. So, you have an 89 speed, 88 excel, 89 agility, 86 carrying, 73 catching, 88 can't change of direction, 80 trucking, 87 break tackle. Going to be super close to LaDainian Tomlinson, like really close, except Saquon will, in my opinion, be better for me because first, I'm a Giants fan. Second, remember, Saquon weighs 233 pounds. I'm pretty sure that's a decent amount more than um, LaDainian Tomlinson. LaDainian Tomlinson probably weighs, he's going to probably weigh 200 something, but he's very tiny. I mean, Saquon, Saquon, you wouldn't guess this, right? So people say, you know, Derrick Henry in this game is so good because he's so big and he has all this weight. People don't know, Saquon and Derrick Henry are almost identical in weight. Saquon's uh, 230, 233, and Derrick Henry's like 238. Saquon's one of the heaviest backs in the game. So, in terms, well, usable heavy backs, right? Not, you know, AJ Dillon's, he's a pretty big boy himself, but Saquon's gonna be probably the best back in the game, in my opinion. Uh, it'll be close with LaDainian Tomlinson, and honestly, I could, you know, I could always power him up, uh, but then it, was, it depends on the abilities he gets. If he gets bad abilities, I'll power him up. If he doesn't, I'll just rock with him base. But again, training's expensive right now, so to get Saquon ability is going to pretty much outweigh the idea of getting LaDainian Thompson. LaDainian Thompson fully powered up right now is going to cost you like 80k to 100k training, not to mention the fact that then you need abilities, which can cost you an additional 80k. It's going to be like 160 plus just to get him powered up and chemmed up with, with, with abilities and everything. It's going to be an expensive card. Yeah, Saquon's a beast. So these will be all the cards that should be releasing this upcoming Friday, which I think is going to be like the 27th, if I'm not mistaken. So look, stay on the lookout for that, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any more questions, let me know what's your favorite card down below in the comment section. 
Smash the like button if you need coins to stack up for the new legends today or to save up for these guys. Let me know down below in the description. And if you guys want to just go directly handle it yourself, go to my reserve and use code Poodle at checkout for some coins. Thank you for coming out to today's video. Thank you for watching all the videos. Make sure to check out the pack opening today, which was insane. Got at least a million coins worth of pulls, but there's no auction block to actually sell anything right now. And of course, guys, watch the gameplay with B Marsh. He's incredible. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.